Hey water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. This is your weekly tarot reading. The messages are going to be general, so please keep that in mind as it may not necessarily resonate with everyone watching. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. With all of that being said, let's take a look and see what messages and guidance are coming up for you guys. I'm picking up a lot of conflict and a lot of tension in the energies you guys and the message that I'm getting for you is that you might need to take a more softer approach to uh, a situation especially a situation that involves a relationship or a romantic connection or even like a sibling connection okay so you may have had a disagreement or you may have had a lot of tension here with someone and yeah I'm picking up that a softer approach may be needed um, I feel like both the major themes that are coming up has to do with relationships and these can be romantic relationships it can be you know the relationship that you have with yourself the relationship that you have maybe with your siblings um, with connecting energies um, you know with uh, it could be friendships as well and transformation Transformation is another big one that's coming up. I feel like there's something in your life that needs like a deep change. And I feel like you might be a little bit reluctant to embrace some sort of change. And this new cycle, this new chapter or this transformation that is coming in for you, it, it's got this feeling like shifts are imminent, okay? whether you're ready or not something here is transforming and something here is changing there's like a feeling of rumbling um, especially here with the tower energy um, and i feel like for some of you you know change can be scary right um, just because it means that you might have to step outside of the familiar you might have to step outside of your comfort zone and some of you might be reluctant to embrace this deep change that is coming for you and over the next couple of weeks or even like over the last couple of weeks you've gotten some really like clear glimpses of just what or who needs your attention Okay, so it just feels like if you're not the one who is initiating changes in your life right now, okay, and if you're the one that might be resisting these changes, because you might be holding on to um, something that, you know, it no, no longer works for you or no longer serves you positively. It may have at one point, but maybe it's a relationship that you outgrew, or it could be, you know, a, a habit, it, uh, like it could be a pattern pattern of thought or a pattern of behave, behavior that no longer serves you positively okay and all no longer is getting you positive results there's something here that i feel like you may be holding on to because you know you're scared to let it go because you just this is something that's habitual or it's something that's familiar and letting it go means that you know you have to leave something behind um, give yourself time to there's some things here that are changing for you okay especially when it comes to relationships now it could be the relationship that you have with yourself because that's the most important relationship you'll ever have right um, so it could be that you know you need to improve on the relationship you have with yourself um, it could be that you need to improve on the relationships that you have, uh, you know, with connecting energies around you. But there's something here that is required, like it requires a deep change. Whether you're the one to initiate it or not, 
Um, for example, if you're not the one that's going to initiate the change, the universe will. Okay, the universe definitely um, is supporting this transformation. And this is what's happening with the tower energy here. I just feel like there's some really big changes um, that are coming in for you guys over the next couple of weeks or the next couple of months. And some of these changes, some of these changes, I feel like, um, might mean that you have to, you know, the universe is removing certain people from your life. Okay. Maybe temporarily or maybe permanently. Okay. These may be, uh, romantic energies that are taking an exit from your life this may be it, it may be even people that you love and they may not be bad people but these people i feel like they're you kind of need their absence in order to grow if that makes sense at least for the time being because you need to what's happening right now is you need to find embrace the transformation because whether you want to admit or not, especially over the last couple of weeks or months, things have felt a little bit uncomfortable lately, right? Because there's the energy of the tower brings in profound change. And this tower moment or this transformation that's happening for you, it's not like it's just happened overnight. It's not like it's just come, you know, out of nowhere. Um, it just feels like it's been a build up of things. This transformation has been and these deep changes have been much needed and whatever you know whatever it is that you're growing that you're going through right now you're growing through it so it's some sort of upheaval okay some sort of upheaval or transformation is taking place in your energies especially in your relationships in areas of your relationships romantic relationships the relationships you have with your sisters, with your brothers, you know, with family members, with your friends. Um, and it often, whatever, like for example, whatever this is, it comes as a shock to you. Okay, so a relationship may be deteriorating here. Okay, a partnership or a marriage or a friendship might, might be deteriorating. There's something here that comes as a shock or will come as a shock to you. But know that whatever it is that's happening, like for example, whatever it is that's falling apart here has had, from what I can see, weak and crumbling foundations to begin with. Okay, so that's why if you're holding on, if you're not going, like, if you're not going to embrace these changes and these transformations, if you're going to resist them, those changes are going to happen whether you like it or not, whether you're ready for it or not. But you know the thing is i don't think like your whole remember how we mentioned earlier that you're holding on to something here whether it's emotional behavioral patterns or it's like old um beliefs and attitudes um and whatnot you're holding on to these things and these very things that you're holding on to they have a crumbling foundation to them okay meaning that if you let them go there's a chance for you know the destruction of the tower is here so that it can clear some things okay and right now you need to clear out the old ways okay so it means clearing out certain relationships okay maybe you don't necessarily have the best relationship with yourself maybe you don't have the best relationship with your money maybe you know the romantic relationships that you have right now aren't healthy okay they're not healthy they're not fulfilling and the tower is a symbol that whatever it is that you're holding on to or whatever it is that you're experiencing and again it's it's it feels like it's in relationships it feels like it's in the area of relationships I get it you want to escape the turmoil and the destruction that you may be experiencing in your life right now but it's so important for you to know that you need to embrace it because as uncomfortable and as chaotic and hectic as this may seem you know people certain people exiting your life truths you know getting exposed revealed um just this upheaval and just this sudden shake up okay and it can come in many different forms but whatever it is i get it it is uncomfortable um, so much so that if you know we take a look at the image and notice how to the side 
you've got the knight and the five of swords and I find that very interesting and the tower he is uh, in the middle wedged in the middle notice uh, with the imagery you know the lightning bolt strikes the tower here and it sets it ablaze and then you've got the occupants of the of the tower here who just you know are just jumping out of the windows in a in she acts of desperation because they want to escape this turmoil they want to escape this blaze and I feel like you know be careful that whatever it is that's happening in your life right now um, be careful how you react okay I get it you want to escape some sort of turmoil or destruction within but you honestly have to go through what you're going through right now and the tower is a symbol for the ambition that the ambition the relationship the friendship it's a symbol for you know the the idea whatever this is it's constructed on a faulty premise okay so you need to clear out the old ways or you need to clear something out in order to welcome something new so that's why there i feel like the there's something here you've not been wanting to accept as truth okay the truth is uncomfortable not a lot of people some people would rather a pretty lie over an ugly truth the truth can hurt it can be a really bitter spill a uh, bitter uh, pill to swallow it it's uncomfortable it's you know the, the truth can be full-on how and some of you i feel like you've been you've been doing everything you can to avoid a truth about someone okay but there's something here that comes and i think it's happened recently for some of you there's something here that happens in it's like a flash in a moment or like it's like a flash of truth something happens here where you finally get to see this person for who they really are they show you their true colors okay they show you who they really are now you wanted to always believe you know the good about this person but in a like in a flash of truth they show you their real colors um their true colors so something here happens which is revealed to you and it happens in um i feel like it, it takes you by surprise so you know a secret might come out uh, something that be, that has been kept from you something that be, that has been hidden in the dark comes to the light or perhaps it hasn't been hidden in the dark perhaps if it has been hidden in the dark then it's just been hidden in the dark crevices of your mind because maybe deep down you're very intuitive beings okay you guys are governed by water energy by intuition by your emotions so intuitively you n always knew that maybe this person wasn't who you thought they were or maybe that this situation wasn't what you thought it was about or this relationship wasn't you know it wasn't healthy and it wasn't good for you but maybe you did a lot of self deception a lot of self deceiving and now all of a sudden you know you get this flash of truth or flash of inspiration that comes your way um so at the heart i feel like at the heart of the the tower moment the tower and the tower energy the energy of the tower that you might be experiencing at the heart of it is a is a truth and there's some sort of ground groundbreaking change that is happening for you it doesn't have to be anything it doesn't have to be anything huge okay like a tower moment doesn't have to necessarily mean the loss of a friendship the loss of a romantic uh you know of a relationship um it does strike fear in a lot of people especially when we see the card right it strikes fear but i think this tower moment has been a long time coming i just feel like there's been certain relationships and i feel like there's been certain things that you need to let go of and you needed to let go of for quite some time but see i think you've been holding on to those things okay because they're familiar they worked for you um you know it's just it's habitual um you know they're a paradigm you've been holding on to it or onto this you know onto these 
fears or into these insecurities or you've been holding on to old you know old ways old beliefs onto relationships friendships that just no longer serve you positively and now you must abandon the lie in order to receive the truth and i feel like it's been a build up for a lot of you okay something here like it's been building up and i think right now you are you're ready to abandon the lie it's not going to be easy because whatever you have known prior to this tower moment you thought it was the truth or at the very least you wanted it to be the truth you know you wanted for this relationship to be you know to be this ideal partnership you wanted for this person to be the one or you wanted to believe in the good in this in a certain person um in a certain energy even though you know they they weren't who you thought they were it's like you must now abandon a truth and any prior event that came before this tower moment has been a lie has been built on lies has been built on this tower of illusion and now you must find something or someone else to take its place so letting go of old paradigms so you can you know you can create new paradigms but paradigms that serve you positively letting go of old relationships so that you know the tower of illusion comes down and then you can rebuild a tower a tower of truth and not you know and have a very strong and sturdy foundational structure here so something here is no longer useful and it is now your time to abandon the lies it's now your time to abandon the version of a truth that you always knew or you always you know clung to it's time to replace the old foundations of a past with something more genuine something more positive something more healthy the clouds the turbulent clouds in the background here do suggest that this is taking such a mental toll on you and your energy okay it does suggest that there is something here that is draining you of your energy and it could be this tower moment it could have been all the events that have led up to this tower moment watch your thoughts right now as well and make sure that those thoughts you know serve you positively because there's not a lot of like what's happening outside of you which is this tower moment right this is going on externally your external life is a reflection of what's going on internally so clearly, you know, there's something here that is really, um, you know, there's something here that is threatening your peace, not only externally, but internally as well. So take it as a warning that it is time to, you know, take control and abandon lies, abandon lies and seek the truth. Okay, so some, and whatever it is that is breaking down for you here, your perspective or your understanding of it wasn't the truth it was not the truth and i know it can be really savage it can be really savage to hear that maybe you you know you were told lies about a person or you know you believed in you tried to believe in the good about in, in, the good in someone but all along they weren't necessarily showing you who they were and i i know it can be very you know it can be very savage to hear this message right now but i feel like it's yeah take it as a warning that you know in whatever he that you know, whatever it is that's breaking down for you, you your perspective and understanding of it wasn't the truth not prior you know it, at least not in not prior to like the not prior to the tower moment You have to go through this chaos right right now so you can get the peace okay so you know if you want to get to peace um if you want to create peace and um harmony and restore balance i feel like you need to go through chaos right now because i think that you know yes there is going to be a light at the end of the tunnel but in order for you to get to the light at the end of the tunnel with the situation you have to grow like go through it and when you go through it what you don't realize is you're growing through it so embrace these 
embrace the truth that this tower moment is revealing to you okay and do not stop it stop making excuses for people around you or stop making excuses for this person or stop making excuses why you are the way you are and why your paradigms are the way they are you know why your emotional behavioral pattern patterns don't serve you positively no more excuses it's time to let go of those too Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this channel. Bye for now.